Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna apologize in advance for the noise outside. I've got everything open because it's absolutely boiling and gorgeous, but there are some works getting done in some people's gardens. So if you hear any noise, just ignore it. Concentrate on the recipe. Today, we're gonna to be making a vegan and completely healthy salad. This is a meal that I've been reaching for a lot this month. It is so delicious and I'm obsessed with it. You only need a blender and ingredients that you probably already have in your cupboard and if you're missing a few, then they are so accessible. There are no crazy weird ingredients in here, stuff that you already probably know of. So let's get straight into this week's video, guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button and let's do this. We're going to make the Caesar salad dressing first. So you're gonna need a blender. You need 45 grams of soaked cashews. So try and soak them for up to four to six hours. It just softens them. But if you've forgotten to do so, which I do so many times, it's fine. You just need to let that blender blend for a little bit longer. It may warm the mixture, but it's okay. Just don't overheat it. Pop your cashews in the blender. Then you need 30 grams of sunflower seeds, 50 grams of pine nuts, four tablespoons of lemon juice, three pitted medjool dates, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. This is the one that I've been using. I think the brand's called Maili. Maili, I can't pronounce it. Sorry if I've just butchered that. So two teaspoons of Dijon. Two tablespoons of tamari. We use the clear spring one and it's organic. Two tablespoons of tahini. Um, this is a brand that we've not used before. We normally use, oh, I can't even remember the other brand, but I prefer it because it's in a glass jar. I don't know why we have this one. I think the other one was out of stock. So two tablespoons of tahini. Two cloves of fresh garlic. One tablespoon of Unami paste. I use, again, Clear Spring. I'm a huge fan of this brand. This is organic also. This one's actually got ginger in it as well. I don't want to blend the, uh, the packet, but this has got ginger in it, so it just gives that extra little kick in the flavor. Half a teaspoon of dried dill. I haven't put a label on this jar yet, but that's dried dill. So half a teaspoon of that. And then lastly, a sprinkle of black pepper. Actually, the last step is adding spring water. It just depends on the consistency you want. I will probably put about 100 ml in. Start with less and then add because you don't want this too watery. And now it's time to blend. So I need to add more water because that is just way too thick. I need it to be a bit more runnier than that. Like I said, add slowly. I think that that is about, oh, it just smells amazing. That's about right, so you can see, I don't wanna pour it on the floor, but you can see the consistency. It's still quite thick, but not too runny. And that's exactly how you want it. So I'm gonna set that aside, and then I'm gonna prepare the actual salad, which is so easy, it's only a few ingredients. So of course you're gonna need an iceberg lettuce. This is just a normal sized one. And I have washed it and just crushed up with my hands. It's so easy to do. So pop that in a nice big bowl, and then you need some celery. I just wanna show you guys this is the celery I've grown in my garden. How amazing is that? This is actually Italian celery. Um, it's a bit smaller, but we got something, so I'm really happy. So I'm gonna pop a handful of chopped celery in with the romaine lettuce. And then lastly, you want a type of sort of crouton. So you can use anything, but I've been using these breads that we have in Italy. So basically they're rock hard. They come like that. And they are literally, you can hear how hard they are. They're rock hard. But what we do in Italy is we put it in with some water. So that's soaking in water. And then you'll just watch it just crumbles. 
So this is what we've been using because we stocked up on this stuff since coming back from Italy last year and we just thought it'd be perfect and it worked really well. But you can use any sort of crouton. In Italy, we typically um, will make this with, I'm making such a mess. We'll typically make this with fresh tomatoes, basil, onion, and vegan mozzarella. And that's something like we call it our boat food. So whenever we go um, on the boat for the day or go to our, hang out with our friends, then this is literally like the go-to meal. It's so easy to do and absolutely delicious. It brings so many memories back for me. We're actually hoping to get to Italy this year. We're gonna attempt, I've mentioned it in my previous videos, but we're gonna attempt to drive and I will be vlogging the experience um, so you guys will see. So that's all I add in here. You can add other things if you'd like, but remember the Caesar sauce is a very heavy filling dressing. So just bear that in mind. And you've got the bread, so it's a very heavy meal. But once you've popped all your ingredients in there, give it a good mix with a large spoon. The last thing before we add the dressing in is to make caramelized onions, but we're going to make them the healthy way. And I think these may be the healthiest caramelized onions out there. So I've got a white onion chopped finely in my pan and you just need to add some spring water to that. So I've added in my water, just have a glass on the side if you need to top it up because you don't want these to burn. And then the last part is my go-to and it's the Palmyra Jaggery from Sugar Vida. You can see it there with my lovely bamboo spoons that I bought from Amazon the other day. If you guys missed that video, I did a Amazon, sustainable Amazon buy. I'll link it for you so you guys can see what I bought, but these bamboo spoons is one of them. And this is how I like to use them as you've just seen. But we're gonna take our Sugar Vida and we're gonna pop about two and a half of these, that's a teaspoon. So two and a half teaspoons in the pan. And then we're gonna put that on heat and let it all cook. The onions are just finishing and now it's time to combine the dressing with the salad. Grab your spatula, make sure you've got a good spatula and get that dressing into the salad. You really need to give this such a good mix to make sure that that dressing is covering every salad leaf, every bit of crouton, everything. So it's a bit of um, it's a bit of work, but I promise you, it's absolutely worth it. You'll notice that I haven't added any Himalayan salt, and that's because the tamari is quite salty and. There's so much flavor, you really don't need to. Obviously, if you want to, then go ahead. But I personally feel that it just doesn't need it. So that is perfectly mixed. You can see everything's covered, looks a bit messy. I'm gonna transfer it to a nice bowl to see. And lastly, you've got your caramelized onions which are done, and then I'm just gonna pop them on the top. I am missing one ingredient, um, and I'm so annoyed that I forgot, but you guys can just add it. It's vegan Parmesan cheese. Recently, I don't know if you guys have been finding it, but I like Via Life cheese, and for some reason, it is so hard to get hold of. Like nowhere stocks it anymore. Aldi stopped stocking it or said they've stopped stocking it. Not all the Waitrose have it. Tesco's down the road hasn't got it. I don't know what's going on, but I hope that it's only temporary. But if you have any vegan Parmesan, then definitely pop some of that on top of this. That is a super healthy vegan Caesar salad done. I can't even start to explain how satisfying this dish is, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. If you've made it this far, then I absolutely love you and I'm so thankful for your support. Please give it a go and make this. I promise you, you are going to love it. Comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's any particular recipe that you'd like me to create 
or do, then let me know and I will get it done for you guys. For those of you that are not subscribed yet, please take the time to do so. And I'm also over on Instagram, it's at Honestly Alessandra, where you can keep up with me daily and make sure you come and say hey, because I absolutely love him from all of you. Guys, till next week, stay safe and stay healthy. I'm gonna go sit down and eat this all. Bye guys. <laughs>